As much as 700 pounds has been stripped away from the old truck by utilizing lighter weight, higher strength steel in the frame and building most of the body out of aluminum. I can't emphasize how much of a game changer that is. Making the truck lighter allows the carryover 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 and 5 liter V8 offer better fuel economy and acceleration while also opening up the door to new, smaller engines. The base V6 has been downsized to 3.5 liters and an all new 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 promises mid-grade V8 power but with much better fuel economy. How much better fuel economy? Well, Ford is waiting to announce fuel economy, power and towing figures a little closer to launch. As before, the F-150 is offered in three different cab styles, including this regular cab, which, despite having plain old vinyl seats, isn't completely barren of equipment. You still get this handy new bed step. The Super Cab, unlike the extended cabs of most of its competitors, still has a rear hinge door, but it now opens to 170 degrees, almost to the bed. Like the Chevy Silverado's crew cab, the Super Cruise back door has been made bigger, makes it easier to get in, and the front doors have been made smaller, makes things a little easier in parking lots. One of the cool things about the F-150 is the hands-free tailgate and the rear-engineered tailgate step. It's now entirely integrated inside. Here's another cool bed feature, let's say you have some dirt bikes. There are now a pair of telescoping ramps that connect to the tailgate and store in the bed. The cabin sees its own big time improvements with greatly improved materials and more grown up design. Now driving and maneuvering a big truck like this can be difficult so options like a 360 degree parking camera, lane departure warning system and rear cross traffic alert should make driving it a little easier and safer. The F-150's competition includes the Ram 1500, which is revolutionary in its own right with its coil and air spring suspensions and available diesel engine. There isn't that much revolutionary about the new Chevy Silverado, but it is certainly capable in its own right. Now, neither are likely to match the new F-150's fuel economy, but we won't... As much as 700 pounds has been stripped away from the old truck by utilizing lighter weight, higher strength steel in the frame and building most of the body out of aluminum. I can't emphasize how much of a game changer that is. Making the truck lighter allows the carryover 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 and 5 liter V8 offer better fuel economy and acceleration while also opening up the door to new, smaller engines. The base V6 has been downsized to 3.5 liters and an all new 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 promises mid-grade V8 power, but with much better fuel economy. How much better fuel economy? Well, Ford is waiting.